Hello and welcome to StyleCast 2017. I'm Alexander. And I'm Ashley. Thank you for joining us again, guys. Every week we bring you what's hot now in Korean fashion and beauty. And a makeup session with a K-beauty professional. But you know what comes first. Trend, Trend Report! report. Alright, so the first item today on our list are aesthetic salon products. Ooh, and actually we're in one aesthetic shop. Mm -hmm. We were actually here a couple of days ago for a treat. So we know what to tell you today. Look at our face is glowing. Do you go to aesthetic shops usually? Not really. Usually I go to just Pibukwa, dermatologist, yeah, dermatologist. But it's very different actually. It's mm -hmm. a very good experience. We tried it. Wow. It's like a special treat. Exactly right, it makes your face really glow. And actually there are countless of shops and brands in Korea, but the reason why we choose this one is because they use really natural, safe and organic products here. And it's so natural that the active ingredients, it's safe for everybody from whether you're young or old. And like me, sensitive skin, it really fits us very well. Yeah, so their manufacturing plants are GMP certified and the company got a nod from Korea's Ministry of Health and Welfare. Ooh. And what's really cool is that the company launched their leading product to hospitals and an expos in Korea and the US before they opened any salons. That's right, and a year later they branched out and now less than five years later, they're in hundreds of salons in Korea and overseas. Wow. The celebrity clientele here includes NS Yoonji, mm. YB Yoon Do Hyun, Park Shin Yang, etc. etc. Wow. Alright, so the special product we're gonna be talking about today gives you the salon experience at That's home. That's right. The first product is oxygen masks. Ooh, da -da. or bubble masks, right? That's right. And we actually got to try it here, and you can actually hear the bubbles like sparkling mm -hmm. on your face. That's right. So wh why is it different? It's because you know. Firstly, when it's on your skin, it actually massages your skin. Those mm -hmm. bubbles here, it was very ticklish, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yeah, when yeah, I first really put it, like I was it. like, ow, it's so ticklish! Like foamy, foamy, foamy. So after you put it around, it's gonna start foaming very soon. Nice. Do you see it's foaming here? And this oxygen mask also acts as a cleanser, so you can use it every day. That's right, it's very simple. And afterwards, after you leave it for a while, all you have to do is just clean it, wipe it like normal cleansing, and yeah. the skin will be very clean. Yeah, I remember she like massaged it like this on my face after she put it on. That's and right. it was like really soft. Mm -hmm. The longer you now, because we have no time, but if the longer you live, I'm sure you can see the video. It's like very bubbly, you know, fuzzy. Your face become like a cloud. All right, so the second item is called RG Bio Peel, and it sounds like a peel-off mask or a gomage mask, but it's actually not. Mm -hmm. And what is RG? RG is regeneration, mm. regenerating. So the active, the main ingredient inside it is the blue-green algae. <gasps> Whoa, what is blue-green algae? Blue-green algae is actually a more than 7,000-year-old kind of, you know, algae that can be found in Oregon. Whoa, Klamath Lake. Lake. Uh -huh. That's right. How do you know it? So oh, smart! Because you went somewhere else huh? <laughs> for holiday. Just kidding. <laughs> so this is actually it, and we tried it ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. At the beginning, we were like so scared because they were like saying it's gonna be a little pokey. Yeah, right? they said it was gonna be. They were. They warned us saying that it might be a little painful, so I was scared. But then it wasn't painful at all. And, I know, right? And it's because it feels prickly because there are patented microspicules that poke and penetrate your skin cells, mm -hmm. so they regenerate. You can leave it overnight, right? Mm -hmm. And you can still feel it working the next day. That's right. So I have sensitive skin, so I. I told her that you know I just want to try it on my forehead, mm -hmm. nose, and chin area. And that night and the next day, I saw my nose and my blackheads and pores so diminished. Gone, uh -huh. right? And the redness on my chin area was gone. So I was like, oh my gosh, this stuff is good. Oh, I want to use this. Let's try it. Yeah, and I heard the green, the blue-green algae has a superfood status because it's really high in like vitamins, proteins, minerals, and amino acids. Ooh, so it must be really right. good the for your skin. The one that really made my skin so much better, right? Yeah, when else are you gonna put blue-green algae on your face? And Ashley, when is the correct time to use it though? After cleansing, so you use, you use your night cleanser and then toner and then you use this one and then you use a nutrient-rich cream. And then the next day, you're gonna shine bright like a diamond. So our next item is the customized color makeup or Ooh, paint makeup. Oh, you can mix and match your own colors. Exactly. I've always wanted to try this. Does it remind you of you know painting that yes. you use when you're in high school or middle school? Or even elementary school? Exactly. Since you studied colors, I'm sure you know the color wheel well, right? No, I don't know colors <laughs> well. Actually. No, we're gonna 
have to make colors today. Okay. But the good thing is this color, this set here, it's like seven different colors. Yeah, and you can also use this for everything, like your lips, your oh, eyes, even really? contouring. Yeah, so it's super mm. useful. It goes on really smoothly and it has a soft and powdery finish. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the colors might be hard to mix at first, but their website has a color mix page where you can try mixing the colors. Very oh. good. So mm. since we have with us today, should we try doing it? Yes, I want to try making two colors, two colors okay. that are trending these days, the coral and the dry rose color. Oh, how do you mix that color out? So for the coral color, we're gonna need pink. Where is pink? Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. Pink and white. And yellow to give it yellow? that. Yellow? Yeah, for the coral. Okay. So. Do you see the different colors here, Ashley? I use these three colors, but look at the amazing color. It's just so many different colors here. It becomes orange, it becomes light yellow, and then pink color, hot pink. This is just beautiful. It's art. This is Ooh, the coral color I got. This is the coral color. Mmm, cool. So since you are warm tone and you're a little darker than me, and I'm cool tone, let's make a dry rose color and see how that looks on both of us. Good idea. So I'm gonna take the pink first and I'll give it to you. I'll make a lot and then I'll give it to you. Thank you. <laughs> Mix the brown with the... Okay, this, this might be a little too much brown. White. Really I like the star color too. I like the star color too. Wow! You add the white and it becomes like The white like color a... does the magic! And since you're a little more warm tone, I think it's better if you add a little more brown and I'm gonna add a little more white to make it a little brighter. Okay. So I'll just get the brown from here. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit. Yeah, so I added the white and it resulted in a lighter dried Rose color. Oh, I, I added a little dark color so mm -hmm. it came like this. Let me see. Mm, I think that color suits you. For my cheeks? <laughs> or my lips? Yeah, so you can see how it goes from hot pink to brown and then you add the white and then it becomes like a dried rose color. Mm -hmm. And from there, if you want to go for like a darker shade, you can add brown or if you want to make it brighter, you can add white. That's right. So the most important is experiment it by yourself. You know, choose the right color you really like. I think I can play all day with this mix and match colors I'm sure. every day. Oh, so man. So much fun. So cool. Okay, so what's next on our trend report? Our items? third item is straw hats! Woo! Woo! I've been really loving them. I actually wore them a lot when I went to Timor-Leste in Bali. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's so nice because it keeps your head really cool. That's right, I really mm -hmm. like it because, you know, it's very lightweight. It looks good on you. I know, right? It makes you look younger and also blocks <laughs> the sunlight. Definitely gives you like a relaxed, like, vacay mode vibe. Welcome to Style Cat. Yeah, like, woo, at the beach. So who's wearing these straw hats? It's a fashion item for all, including the stars. Mm -hmm. The hats are great for the warm weather because it keeps your hair and face shielded from the sun, but they also keep your hat cool and ventilated. Yeah, definitely. So can we try some on? All right. Wow, we have a few choices here. Let's hang this back here. This one's really cute because it has this decoration. Ooh, right girls have a lot of decoration. And girls want to like more thin and flexible, right? Yeah. Guys is like more like set, solid so looking. Cool. Ooh, what's up, Ashley? I was born in another. <laughs> and there's this one here. So some of the, oh, look at this. This ooh, is so fancy. Ooh, look me, at the decoration. Mm -hmm, look at this here. The feathers. Oh, this has wires so you can control where it folds. Oh, so it won't like, be like the other one just now. Yeah, right? so oh, just, I like this. That's good. Because guys' ones are usually already, you know, have the shape here. So. Uh -huh. Do I look okay? Yeah, oh my God, we look like we should go to a trip. Whoa, look at the straw details over here. Whoa, this is like the top part is more like round and so Oh, Whoa. this is like when you eat dim sum. <laughs> oh my God, where did you put the... What? <laughs> <laughs> Try it on. Okay, Wait, where's the oh, front? Is this the side? Here. That's right. Oh, this is good. Let's do strike a pose, Ashley. <laughs> All right, so it's time for our Make, Make Me, me over. over! So for our client today, she actually sent in a video, mm -hmm. so let's take a look! look. 
안녕하세요. 저는 싱가포르에서 온 발렌시아라고 합니다. Hi guys, I'm Valencia and I'm from Singapore. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me to be part of this Make Me Over program and I'm really excited to learn more about makeup and fashion trends from the professionals. And of course, thank you guys so much for choosing me and I'm really excited to get the makeover. So, uh, hope to see you guys soon. Bye! Whether it's sexy, cute, chic, or unique, we got you covered. We do it all for our clients who are looking to try something different. And with the help of a K-beauty professional, this is Make, Make Me, Me Over! Over. Woohoo! Alright, so actress Kim Sa Young, who was recently at Cannes, and sisters Ta Som and actress Lee Yuri, what do they all have in common? They all played amazing female villains, right? Yes. And they also left a really strong impression towards the audience. So our Make Me Over today is inspired by these female villains. You saw our client in the video today, so let's introduce her out. Valencia! Valencia. Please come out! Hi. Hello, hello! Hi, Hi. everyone! Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Valencia from Singapore. Wow, nice. <laughs> We're so pleased to have you here today. All right, so who's gonna turn Valencia into a beautiful baddie? Our K beauty professional, makeup artist, Injung Shilchangnim, na jiseyo. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember her? She joined us before. And yeah. She's back. Yay. 안녕하세요, 메이크업 아티스트 은정입니다. Remember to sign up if you want to join us for a makeup session. Send us a message on social media, hashtag stylecast, hashtag MMO. Or email us at adirangstylecast at neighbor.com. Alright, so we're gonna get started with the bad villain makeup. Bad villain makeup. Yeah, so 어디부터 시작하면 돼요? 네, 지금 피부는 깨끗하게 정리해둔 상태에서 오늘 눈이랑 립이 강조된 메이크업이기 때문에 지금 이제 아이 메이크업을 시작해 보도록 하겠습니다. 네. Ooh. I wonder what color eyeshadow she's gonna wear. I know, right? Villain. Usually the impression of villain is like, you know, 친절한 금자씨. Or like the chum. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, I think that's the old style of villain. I don't think they do it like that anymore because it's too old fashioned. Eye makeup is a bit soft and soft shadow to use the soft and soft feel. It's going to be a soft and soft feel of the eye makeup. It's going to be a soft and soft feel of the eye makeup. If you use the shadow of the eye makeup, what color of the eye makeup is going to be a soft shadow? 차가운 색상의 보라톤이 살짝 나는 섀도우인데 네. 예전에 악녀 메이크업 하면은 살짝 붉은 느낌으로 못된 느낌을 많이 줬는데 네. 요즘은 좀 세련된 느낌을 주기 위해서 이렇게 차가운 느낌의 섀도우를 많이 사용하거든요. Oh, that's one of a question from Kiss Me Jenny. She was like asking what are the things that are different from the past female villain makeup in this day. So she just answered that question. Yeah. Here's your answer, Jenny. Past, they would just use like really dark eyeshadow and put a beauty mark under the eye and make it look really <laughs> evil. Melting. But you know, the trend these days is natural makeup, so I think for the villain makeup, it applies as well. Yeah, but, naturally evil. Uh huh. But use a more cooler color. Mm -hmm. There's a question from Dickus Abby saying that I want to try dark makeup without thick eyeliner. Is that possible? And any tips? 그럴 때는 이렇게 음영감을 한톤 주고 나서 섀도우로 아이라인을 그리는 방법이 있는데 섀도우가 높은 섀도우로 아이라인의 느낌으로 이렇게 그려주면은 조금 아이라인보다는 조금 덜 선명하게 진하지 않게 표현이 가능하고요. You can use it with an eyeshadow and it'll look less sharper than an eyeliner, but you'll still get that look. 라인을 처음에 블랙 아이라이너로 눈꼬리를 올려서 그리게 되면 좀 과해 보일 수 있기 때문에 섀도우로 먼저 틀을 잡고 그려보도록 할게요. 가이드 라인을 잡을 때눈뜬 상태의 이 동공 윗부분보다 너무 올라가지 않을 정도로만 눈꼬리를 올려줘야지 
좀덜 과한 듯한 느낌의 피츠 아이를 만들 수 있거든요. 음. Because I know sometimes when um, girls apply eyeliner, they close their eyes and just draw right away. But it's better to leave your eyes open so you know where to like make the ends meet. I found that to be really useful too. We have a question from Kodanielita, and she said, "To get the makeup of villain, is it necessary to accentuate the makeup a lot?" And she mentioned it before. In the olden times, yeah, there it would have been really accentuated, Dramatic. but now they like to make it look natural, even for villain makeup. I mean, unless you're like a villain in like a comic or like an yeah, anime, cosplay, then yeah, maybe. of course it's gonna be strong. But for everyday makeup wear, then it's it has to be more natural. 눈꼬리 끝 쪽이 포인트가 들어갈 거기 때문에 앞쪽은 점막만 깔끔하게 얇게 채워줄 거고요. 눈꼬리 끝 부분은 아까 섀도우로 가이드 라인 잡아놓은 거를 따라서 그려주시면 됩니다. 포인트 섀도우를 사용해서 그려놓은 상승형 눈매 더 깊어 보일 수 있도록. 끝, 라인 끝쪽으로 포인트를 줄게요. 네, 블랙 라이너를 이렇게 뭉개는 느낌으로 해주시는 게 좋아요. 아까 썼던, 처음에 썼던 섀도우 컬러를 이용해서 연결을 해줄게요. 조금 더 눈꼬리가 깊어 보이는 상승형 눈매가 될수 있도록 만들어주겠습니다. 눈끝 지점만 라인이랑 연결해서 눈꼬리가 더 올라가 보일 수 있도록 표현해 주겠습니다. Question actually from Shelly 412113 saying that what's the difference with cat's eyes makeup? 지금 하는 악녀 메이크업은 블랙 라인의 캣츠아이 느낌보다는 섀도우로 눈꼬리가 좀 올라가 보이는 느낌을 주는 음. 게 포인트거든요. 음. 네. Right. It's not using the liner but more about the shadow. Yeah, because cat's eye it's like But this is more like wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the shading, it's really good. Valencia, have you ever tried any villain makeup? No, not really. Nice. I tried Catwoman makeup. Because oh, really? for Halloween, I dressed up as Catwoman, oh. so I did like the crazy the cat crazy eyes. Cat eye. mm -hmm. Smoky crazy cat eyes. 속눈썹 오늘 붙이죠? 네, 오늘 인조 속눈썹을 붙여볼 건데요. 눈꼬리를 올라가게 라인을 했기 때문에 네. 그걸 조금 더 효과를 주기 위해서 눈 뒤쪽으로만 속눈썹, 인조 속눈썹을 붙여보도록 할게요. 아, We have 속눈... a question actually from 7 o'clock saying that it's my first time trying fake eyelashes for party and I want to know how to place them naturally. 통으로 붙이기보다는 가닥가닥 잘라서 붙이는 거를 추천해드리거든요. 원래 속눈썹의 아래쪽에다가 붙이면 조금 더 자연스러울 수가 있어요. 아, below your original lashes. 네. 그럼 가닥가닥 자른 속눈썹을 아랫부분에 붙이면 조금 더 자연스러울 수가 있어요. Yeah, I think it's really hard to do it yourself. Yeah. But like she said, it'll be better to cut them maybe in like a like small maybe pieces. small pieces and put them each by. But them. the tricky thing is, that, you know, if you don't do it, stick it properly, it's gonna fall one down here. Yeah, yeah that happens to me all the time. Oh really? Yeah. 눈썹 다 그리고 눈썹 마스카라를 사용해서 눈썹 앞머리에만 컬을 살려주겠습니다. 아, 그렇게 하면 무슨 효과가 있어요? 강렬한 느낌을 줄수 있어요, 음 눈썹으로. 이제 아까 썼을 때 남았던 오. 베이스를 사용해서 한번더 베이스를 정리해주고 립 메이크업을 시작해보도록 하겠습니다. Oh, so there's no cheek today. 오, 강렬. 쉐딩으로 살짝 음영만 넣어주고 눈이랑 입술에 포인트가 되기 때문에 블러셔는 따로 안 하도록 하겠습니다. There is a question from K. Corinna, yeah, saying that what should I do to make my skin look lively? 블러셔 한 티가 안 나게 생기를 주고 싶을 때는 이런 외곽 부분으로 살짝만 약간 블러셔 한 느낌만 주는 방법도 있고요. 아. 크림 타입의 뭐 피치 톤 이런 걸로 사용해서. Yeah, also because if you put blusher like on your cheek area, it makes you look cute, and you don't want to look cute. You know, you're yeah. a villain. You have to look evil. So if you do want to put blush, just put it on the outer cheekbones. That's right. And you can use the seven colors and try to mix and match the correct color that we mm -hmm. introduced today. I hope you will find the correct color. Seven times seven is forty-nine kinds of tones plus more. You will find the correct one. Good luck. <laughs> 립 메이크업을 해볼 건데요. 네. 
레드 립을 발라볼게요. Good. Lip makeup. There's many questions about lip this time, actually. So this one is from Lovely Girls. And I have a shade and big lips. What suits me better, a dark or light color? Lots of love for Ashley and Alexander from Libya. Woo. Another similar question is from Hannah saying that I have a small lips. What suits me better, a dark or light lip color? All the love for Ashley from yeah. 네, 작은 입술 같은 경우는 조금 그냥 생기 있는 정도의 컬러만 사용하시는 게 좋으시고 네. 만약 입술이 두꺼우실 때 레드 립을 바르고 싶다 하시면은 입술 외곽을 좀 많이 죽여 주신 다음에 어, 좀톤 다운된 코랄 컬러를 외곽으로 발라주고 그 다음에 안쪽으로 진한 컬러를 그라데이션 해주면 조금 더 자연스러울 수가 있어요. True. Sure. 아니면 you're gonna look like a sausage lips. Why? Rock your big lips. Or I like rat. full lips. It's like a beef stung your lips. <laughs> like. I like that style, like Kylie Jenner style. <laughs> You've got... She rocks it. Uh -huh. I like big the lips. I like thin lips natural. too. Yeah, thin if you want to go for the more natural look. 입술이 좀 두꺼운 편이어가지고 Ooh, 펜슬을 sexy. 사용해서 전체적으로 바르게 되면 너무 입술이 부각돼 보일 수가 있어서 네. 펜슬 사용해서 안쪽으로만 발라주고 그다음에 이렇게 겉에는 조금씩 그라데이션 해가면서 라인을 만들어 주도록 할 거예요. Mm -hmm. 이제 마지막으로 얼굴 윤곽이랑 코 쉐딩을 넣어주고 마무리하도록 하겠습니다. 쉐딩은 가볍게만 해주시면 돼요. 어, 눈이랑 어, 입술이 네, 너무 강조됐기 때문에 막 쉐딩이 과하게 들어가면 너무 과해 보이고 그쵸. 네, 그럴 수 있어서 I like how it's not exaggerating. Right? Yeah, I think just Korean makeup itself is it's very natural because Western, you know, you just make it look like oh, I just contoured yeah. my cheeks like. They just make it look very strong, but in Korea, everything's so light. Natural. Mm -hmm. And I like her, when she smiles, she looks very sweet, but when she's like, just... No facial face, expression. Yeah, it's like, I'ma punch you. <laughs> <laughs> very, it's like the villain style. <laughs> That's a panjon made of, you know, reverse, you know? Uh -huh. Look very fierce, but later, oh, bye, yeah, then, woo! Guys will go crazy. I think you're crazy right now. <laughs> 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 Don't look at the mirror yet. Oh, okay. You oh, can't look nice. in the mirror yet. We're gonna give you oh, no a time to look. But seriously, it's done. Yeah. Don't look at me, Musawa. <laughs> <laughs> Not that exaggerated. Exactly. Yeah, oh my gosh. Alright, so it's time to show Valencia her final look. She transformed into a beautiful baddie. So, are you ready to yes. look at yourself? Okay. I'm very excited. Let me count to three. One, One two, two, three! three. Ta da! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow! <laughs> do you think you can do it? <laughs> oh! She likes oh! it! She likes it! Oh! Yay! It's beautiful. Do you actually, do you just do that yourself um, sometimes? No, like sometimes when you, I do it, I don't dare to go really like high because uh -huh. I'm afraid I'm going to look like too fierce mm -hmm, but it's mm -hmm. kind of like a nice balance with the lip right? and the eye. Yeah. yeah, it looks so, so good. Yay! Yeah. 고생하셨습니다! Every time you come here, all the clients are very satisfied. Mm -hmm. like, 정말 <laughs> 또, 또 네. right. <laughs> so last but not the least, we have to wait for her food transformation, mm -hmm. so stay tuned. Yeah, we'll be right back. 고생하셨습니다. 감사합니다. Dude, I'm ready to meet our villainess. I know, Woohoo! right? Come here! <gasps> oh my god! Wow! Look at so her fierce. fierce look on her face. It's like, welcome to our studio. Girl, you look so good. Wow, mm. this is so fierce. Like, don't smile. One, two, okay. three. Whoa! I'm sorry, I'm so Scary. sorry. How do you feel? Do you like it? Oh, I feel like it's a really big change. Like, mm -hmm. I've never tried such a, I don't know, serious look. Fierce and a really fierce look, look. Right? yeah. This is good. Next time, so you know, good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, sometimes I try to do, like, the smoky makeup, oh. and I look like I have, like, a... So sometimes I don't go too far, but mm -hmm. this is nice. Remember this look. Next time, if you want to break up with your boyfriend, just <laughs> do this. Like, let's break up, and you're done. <laughs> All right, I'm glad you really like it. Yeah, yeah I really enjoyed thank it. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me. 
Oh, we our like honor it. to have you and we, we're glad you like it. All right, it's time for us to say goodbye, but don't be sad. We'll be back again next week. Until then, be beautiful. Be confident. Bye. Bye.